Hello and welcome. I'm Fernell Walker, Director of Optometric Relations for VSP Ventures. I'm so glad you could join me today to discuss spectacle lenses. This really is an exciting time for eye care. As a master optician, I follow lens technology pretty closely. I've seen amazing technology over the past 30 years, advancements in existing ophthalmic lenses and new technologies, everything from advanced atoric and bitoric lens designs, lens substrates that dwarf materials of the past, thin film treatments that utilize wavefront technology and cross the entire visible spectrum, photochromic polarization technology, just to name a few. These improvements have made significant impacts and meaningful visual performance outcomes for our patients. That's something to be excited about and even celebrate. In part one of this video, I'm going to review VSP spectacle lens designs. In part two, we will review lens enhancements. Let's get started. In my experience over the years, when I asked patients what they really want from their new glasses, the most common response was, Fresnel, I want the best vision possible. That makes me look and feel great. I take that to mean they need and want our help as their eye care professionals to deliver lens cosmesis, which is simply blending optics that performs with cosmetic appeal they will want to wear and love. The Unity portfolio of lenses delivers exactly what they want. So what is Unity? Unity is a comprehensive ophthalmic lens portfolio made up of category leading, easy to fit lenses utilizing the most advanced technology to offer patients the best vision possible. These lenses include the Unity Via Elite, the Unity Via Plus, the Unity Via, the Unity Via Wrap, the Unity Via Mobile, the Unity Via Office Pro, and the Unity Relieve. Each of these we will discuss. As a master optician, I've always wanted lens designs that are easy to fit, deliver optimal performance for my patients. That could adapt to these lenses effortlessly. The Unity portfolio of lenses delivers on each Lenses of the past forced patients to compromise. Patients had to move their head up, down, tilt their head, turn to the left, no, back to the right, change their natural posture, causing a myriad of problems beyond their vision just to see. That's crazy and unacceptable. I'm excited by these new technologies that have solved these problems. Variable inset, automatic reading height optimization, digital viewpoint technology, and advanced fit technology. How do these advancements in lens design affect our patients? Well, we've known for many years that binocular vision is essential. The amount of convergence is not consistent with every patient, and even between the right and left eye of the same patient unilaterally. Some patients may have undetected accommodative strabismatic issues while measuring for their new lenses, making it much more difficult and much more. So lenses of the past that used a one-size-fits-all approach have a higher non-adapt failure rate because of these issues. To solve this, Unity Designs have a variable inset design. This solves the binocular issue, while at the same time expands the horizontal usable area of the lens. As you can see by the example on the right in blue, variable inset design expands the amount of usable area at 180 degrees, reducing the amount of head movement and making for a more comfortable lens design for the patient. Automatic reading height optimization ensures that the patient experiences 100% of their ad power, regardless of the frame. This allows for larger reading areas. The corridor length is automatically determined for you at 90 degrees, making it much easier to fit regardless of the lens design that you select. The Unity Via Elite has a continuous power shift at 90 degrees. This makes for a smooth autofocus type feel for the patient that they truly appreciate. When we take a look at digital viewpoint technology, this design eliminates oblique astigmatism, also known as radially astigmatic error. In my lectures, the most common question I used to hear all the time when I discussed lens designs and progressive lens technology is, Fresnel, how can you reduce radially astigmatic error, yet still achieve multiple powers across the lens? Well, the answer, 
compensated lens power by taking the prescribed nominal diopteric power from the doctor, taking that into account, as well as the changes in power as a result of the vertex distance, the refractive index being used, panoscopic tilt, parabolic angle, the exact power needed to neutralize the unwanted effects can be used during lens processing. Isn't that great? Advanced fit technology is used to account for the amount of eye motility at both 180 and 90 degrees. So as the eye moves behind the lens, we wanna ensure that the right amount of lens doctor power is positioned correctly to match exactly where the patient is looking. So advanced fit technology takes care of that for you and makes that much easier and much smoother for the patient. As you can see, lens designs that of the Unity Via is an everyday progressive lens. It uses the nominal power, which is that power prescribed by the doctor or the non-compensating power. It also has automatic reading height optimization. Variable inset ensures that the exact prescribed power is positioned where the patient's eyes will converge based upon a number of factors, such as the add power, monocular PD, and convergence ratio. When we take a look at the Unity Via Plus, Via Mobile, and Via Wrap, these lenses offer all of the benefits of Unity Via with the addition of digital viewpoint technology. This technology is designed to eliminate radial astigmatism air. That is basically the usable area that we can use across the lens and this technology is designed to widen that so it has a more natural open feel. When we look at the ultimate design, that's the Unity Via Elite, when you add advanced fit technology utilizing position of wear optics to account for custom visual ergonomics, you have the most advanced technology possible on an ophthalmic progressive lens. Have you ever had a patient just absolutely love a certain pair of sunglasses, but you had to say no when you took a look at their progressive prescription because you knew that that prescription would not work and that pair of frames with a high base curve, steep wrap, strong parabolic angle, you had to say no. Well, now you can say yes with the Unity Via Wrap because it's designed specifically for these types of frames that are high performance eyewear without sacrificing the patient's visual performance. The other great news about this is because it's an OVSP category, that means you can really maximize patient uh, value and benefit, which is good for the patient and good for your practice. For those patients that require additional reading power because maybe they're using a digital type device, whether it be laptop or tablet in this instance, all day long or very frequently for four or five hours or more a day, well, guess what? We've got a design just for that with the Unity Via Mobile. The mobile uh, lens design has an additional eighth diopter built into the near variable uh, focus area, which allows patients to work uh, more comfortably at a working distance of 32 centimeters. That means it's a lot easier and at the end of the day, there's less eye strain, they feel less asthenopia or eye fatigue at the end of the day because of the additional eighth diopter that's built in. So you may wanna consider uh, the Unity Via Mobile for patients that uh, have those type of needs. Now, the other thing that's great about this, it's also an O category as well, which has also has a higher service fee than the F category. When we take a look at all of the availability of the Unity Via and the different materials, the different selections, the power range, the power range wrap, the add power, and power range of cylinder up to negative six diopters, as you can see, you've got a wide availability for the Unity Via. When we take a look at another Unity family offering, the Unity Via Office Pro, this design is fantastic for patients that work in an office type environment all day long. And they want basically a lens that's designed to fit them ergonomically without them having to raise their chin, lower their chin, move their head side to side, because it gives a larger usable reading area because of the variable inset. With the digital viewpoint technology, it's optimized prescription for every point looking through that lens and the posture fit technology is edge cutting that optimizes the ergonomics of uh, the patient you know as they're wearing the lens so, so this is a fantastic design for those type of patients when we take a look at uh, posture fit technology 
And you think about the workspace of a person working at a desk, whether they're sitting or standing, uh, you know, during the day at their desk, because some desks go up and down. This type of design technology is designed for uh, maximizing intermediate and near portion without a distance portion. So what that basically means is when they look up, uh, they can see, depending on the two options that you choose from, out five feet or even 10 feet if they've got a longer uh, work area that they're looking up. So if somebody walks into the room and they wanna glance up, they can uh, speak to them and so forth, but then look down and go back to using uh, their computer or whatever they're working in in that office, drawing on their whiteboard and much more. So when you look at uh, the two options that are available, these two options are five feet, which is ideal for somebody working in a cubicle most of the day, very, very smaller space compared to maybe an actual office size a room up to 10 feet or so. So it just basically allows them to look up, glance up, and see a little bit further out than the five foot uh, lens option there. Let's take a look at the Unity uh, via Office Pro availability. Also, wide range of availability in both the five foot and 10 foot ranges available in SunSync, SunSync Elite, the XT, Polycarbonate, different uh, substrates such as Trivex, 160, uh, 160 polarized, 167 index. So regardless of what they're needing, you can take a look there and see uh, basically and match up those patient needs based upon their power range, the add power and the cylinder up to a negative six, which is um, pretty good availability with there. So you're gonna have less limitations with it's no secret the majority of people use digital devices all day long. This can sometimes result in eye strain and just your eyes feeling tired. A little bit of extra help. Well, what we found during our wearer trials is that we should take a look at the symptoms of patients rather than so much just their age. However, there are uh, some age defaults, as you can see here, for fitting either the Unity Relieve 50 or the Unity Relieve 70. So let's take a look at the first lens. The Unity Relieve 50 is great for patients that use digital devices all day long, except they're just having mild to moderate digital eye strain symptoms. Those patients are typically 35 years of age or younger. When we look at the Unity relieve um, uh, 70, that's for patients that have more severe digital eye strain symptoms, and they're typically for patients 35 years or older. So that'll tell you exactly and point you in the right direction of which Unity Relieve works best for that type of patient. When we look at the technology itself, uh, the Unity Relieve sometimes is, uh, can be compared to uh, one of the other leading brands out there, which is known as the Eisen lens. The Eisen lens is a similar technology. However, the biggest difference is the Unity Relieve eliminates all the unwanted ad effect above the horizon or the 180 uh, line or half the B measurement uh, for our patients, which means that with the Unity Relief, if the patient were to look up side to side, there's a less busy sensation, it gives them wider, clear field of vision compared to those other leading lenses out there. The power bump to alleviate the symptoms of digital strain is exactly where they want it and need it providing more of a single vision feel, uh, which means that it takes less time to adapt to the lens. When we look at the availability of the Relieve, we can see that it's available in a wide uh, variety of materials such as CR39, polycarbonate, Trivex, and all the different uh, enhancements as well, such as SunSync, SunSync Drive. We'll talk more about these enhancements in part two of um, this lens series. Practice resources are available such as dispensing guides, mats, patient brochures, interactive portfolio videos, and one of my favorites, the personalization dispensing key. This key is a tool to help you take all the measurements you need for any type of progressive lens. To get access to these resources, you can go to unitylenses.com forward slash resources. What about patients that are more price sensitive, but still want a great progressive lens? Well, there are ethos lenses. Let's take a look. 
the Ethos Plus progressive lens and the Ethos lens. The Ethos Plus is a J category and Ethos is a K category. When we take a look at these progressive lens designs, the Ethos progressive family, they're state-of-the-art freeform lens processing equipment used to create the lenses that deliver increased precision, enhance visual acuity, wider fields of views, quicker adaptation, accommodate wide variety of frame options available, clear vision at exceptional value, perfect covered option to convert a bifocal wear to a progressive. Maybe you have a bifocal wear that's used to align multifocal, and so they want to know exactly where the power is in the lens because they've acclimated or they're used to that type of design and they're a little bit more price sensitive. Well, the Ethos Progressive is perfect for them. So when we take a look at the Ethos, it's a digital, freeform lens design, which unlike conventional lens designs offer customized lens for each patient, factoring their PD, their fitting height, and other measurements specific to the patient and their frame. On the other hand, conventional progressive uses uses a predetermined mold for every patient or frame. Ethos and Ethos Plus designs are both general purpose progressive lenses that have a well-balanced design for everyday use. They are also both advanced digital technology lenses. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these. While the Ethos minimum fitting height is 18 millimeters, the Ethos Plus has a two minimum fitting heights at 14 or 18. So you can have a 14 minimum fitting height for a smaller type frame or even an 18 for a more standard type frame. The Ethos Plus is also a compensated design with expanded visual fields for clear vision in every direction. So whether you're going with the Ethos or the Ethos Plus, which has the 14 and 18 millimeter fitting heights, you're still getting a great progressive at a great value, as you can see here. What about material availability? Well, the Ethos is available in a wide range of uh, availability of power, as well as add power and a cylinder up to a four. So big differentiator between if you were to look at the Unity Vias, or uh, the majority are in a minus six, where the Ethos goes up to a minus four cylinder here. But if you look at all the different uh, substrates or materials that are available uh, for Ethos, it's still a wide variety up to like a 167 substrate um, as you can see there with a ton of different enhancements and uh, additional add-ons that, that, that you can have. Now practice resources are also available for the Ethos family of lenses such as a sales sheet, centration chart, as well as progressive lens overview of the different types of progressives and then an FAQ or frequently asked questions sheet to really help you guide uh, you for answering patient questions. So those resources are also available through VSP Opt com forward slash ethos hyphen lenses. I want to thank you for uh, going through part one of spectacle lens designs. As you can see, VSP has a ton of different options available and deciding which lens works best de depends on your patient and their needs. So thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in part two.